Brooke, thank you very much. With that, let us bring in Joe Concha, Fox News contributor. Joe, it's clear by now that the Democrats' only midterm strategy is, but Trump, because that's all they have to hang their hat on at this point. Will it be successful in light of the fact that the Biden-induced problems thus far appear to be giving this all the way to the Republicans at this point? It seems that when you could only attack the other party, Todd, uh, that shows that, okay, w w you have no winning argument, right? What's the bumper sticker for Democrats? What are they going to run on? In 2012, they had a, a quite, a, quite a good bumper sticker, which was uh, bin Laden is dead and GM is alive, right, as in General Motors, and they saved the auto industry. At least that was the argument. And that was easy to absorb. Uh, and, and it worked, obviously, because Barack Obama and Joe Biden uh, won another four years. But uh, I'm old enough to remember when it was a big no-no for any lawmaker to attack members of the Supreme Court. And, and Nancy Pelosi, who, who turned eight this year, uh, checked in with an approval rating in a recent Politico uh, morning consult poll uh, at 31 percent. She presides over a Congress, Todd Nashley, that is currently at 21 percent. And if history is any indicator, uh, Barack Obama, for instance, lost 63 seats in his first term and even had a higher approval rating than Joe Biden, uh, Nancy Pelosi will be retired in November after a red tsunami gives the House back to the GOP. Because when you resort to name calling, like we're right out of sophomore year, uh, that shows you have no winning argument on your side, guys. Yeah, yeah those numbers aren't too good. But remember when Jen Psaki no. uh, made these comments about President Biden's ultra MAGA comments? Take a listen. Who came up with this phrase ultra MAGA? Uh, why the need to, to kick it up a notch? Is the president's phrase, and the president uh, it's made those comments himself um, just last week, as you know. So a Washington Post <laughs> report says otherwise. It actually says that that attempt to appropriate the MAGA brand was as a political attack, and it was hardly accidental. It actually arose from a six-month research project to find the best way to target Republicans helmed by Biden's advisor, Anita Dunn, and by the Center for American Progress Action Fund, which is a liberal group. Are you shocked, Joe? Ashley, I, I can't believe it. Jen Psaki lied? I, I, I mean, it must be a day ending in Y, right? I mean, look, Ultra MAGA is the new Putin price hike, uh, is the new deplorables, right? And and this is obviously the brainchild of Jen Psaki herself. She was the White House press secretary. She led the communications team. They come up with stuff like this uh, because, again, th this was a press secretary who was celebrated by some as, like, the greatest press secretary ever, uh, yet they can continually come up with messaging, uh, in, in her case, Jen Psaki or Karine Jean-Pierre, uh, that fails to resonate with the American people. The, the bottom line is that Donald Trump seems to be, to, to Todd's uh, first question, uh, their only crutch at this point, that, okay, don't look at us, don't look at the people that are responsible, the people that should be held accountable, the people who are tasked with solving problems. Look at the guy who's been out of office for 17 months. That's the guy you want to really look at. When that's the message, they're in big, big trouble, Ashley. It's a constant blame game. Six months to come up with that? Sadly, these yeah. are the people that are also in charge of getting us the formula on the shelves. I'm not holding my breath. Joe Concha, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Joe. Hope all is well with the baby, Todd. How, how yeah. old now, by the way? Uh, 18 We're months. About a year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, older 18 than months? That. Yeah, wow. You'll she be looking at colleges soon. Yeah, Look thanks, at you. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for reminding me. We got to go. You're making